we are now going to try to do is we are going to make some observations with the ocean view spectroscope. And what you really want to do here, if the lab manual asks you to do, is simply to observe that at different lights we see different frequencies. So let's not go all the way up the deep red. And what I'm trying to do is trying to get the light tower and the spectroscope in the same image so you can see both. So let's see what happens with deep red. Let me just take this off. For deep red, see that flat top is when we saturate. We don't want to do that. It makes it hard for us to measure exactly where we are. So there's deep red. Okay, you can see about where that is. Here's red. Now, if you were here, you'd get to have this fun of getting it to go up and down by yourselves. It is not easy. Here's orange. Yellow. And what we want to do is just watch where that peak is. You notice it's going, as I go to these different colors, I'm going to different wavelengths, and I'm going to different frequencies. And we're just measuring wavelength. This is greenish. And we're going to shorter and shorter wavelengths. This, it claims, is bright green. I wasn't aware bright was a color variation, but it is. This is turquoise. This is blue. This is deep blue. This one's really hard not to saturate. that's way down at about 450 nanometers. And there is violet. So what the lab manual has asked us to do is simply to observe that we have different colors that correspond to different wavelengths. And what you can see here on the side, are the wavelengths that go with each of the colors. And there is a picture of this uh, in the instructions that I've sent out.